So the numbers in Ojibwe, you use the same number no matter what objects, kind of objects you're counting. So it's not like uh, Mi'kmaq where the name of the number depends on what you're counting? It sort of does. It does? Um, alive or not alive. Okay. Inanimate animate. Okay. So wow. what would uh, four people? Four people. Niwin. Uh, Wiyug. And yeah. Four um, it would be ni cars? Actually, it would be Niwin Nug. Like the AG uh -huh. is means plural animate, alive. Okay. And then Niwin Nun means four things not alive, like pencils or tables or anything like that. Okay. Yeah. And, and when you just count nothing in particular, so intransitive counting, do you, is that alive or non alive? Um, if it's intransitive, it, again, it has a stem with it. It's animate or inanimate. So it depends on what, uh, if it's intransitive, like you're just general like that, yeah. then it's just a number. It's just like Bejik Nish Um You just some, counted to four, right? Yeah, okay. and people that are talking slang Ojibwe, they won't, um, sometimes when they pluralize it, they won't pluralize the number, which they used to do a long time ago. Oh, okay. But nowadays some people kind of cut corners and and won't call it uh, alive or not alive. Most of the time it's just because they're unsure. Oh, right. Yeah. So if we were um, on the iPad, how it works is that when you put a, your finger down, yeah. you, you basically make give birth to a number. <laughs> it's yeah. not there before you put your finger down. Okay. So it's, it looks like a yellow disc and it's got the numeral one on it. Yeah. So how would you, would you take that to be an animate thing or an inanimate uh, thing? If I had to label it, I would say inanimate, but I would just call it uh, basic, which is neither gender. Okay. And it's just a general way because you're not really sure. Okay. Yeah. And so there, are, um, to go from one to ten, ten different words, are yeah. any of the words related to the other? Like um, three times two or something to get six? Or are they um, all They're all, they're separate? all separate. Um, seven and two start out the same. Um, two is nij and seven is nij wa swe. So they have that first stem in their nij. Do you know why? Uh, I don't know why. You know? And then when you get to 11, it's basically 10 and 1 somehow? Or? Yeah, 10 and 1, a shebejik, a shenij. And um, uh, Carol was the one who actually impressed everyone by counting to 20. But she was telling me that all she had to do was learn how to count to 10. Right. So she wasn't memorizing 20 numbers, it was yeah, yeah, just yeah. 10. And so 20, is that two tens or is it a different name? Like uh, for 20, different? it's a nij, nij tena. Okay, the, if it has a, a, a zero behind it, like 20, 30, 40, 50, yeah. it's going to have tena at the oh, end. Okay, so it's like our T, like a T-Y at the end in English, right? So yeah. that gives you the sense that it's... Like 30, 40, 50, Yeah, so there we go. Up. Okay. Yeah. And then if I wanted to do 43, I would do 4, 10, 3. Yeah, you would say like uh, 43, you're trying to say? Mm -hmm. You'd say Niwin Timna, Niwin Timna, and then Ashe, and Niwin. Uh, What's the Ashe? Uh, it's kind of like adding. It's like oh. also as well as oh. 3. Oh, nice. Yeah. So it's got that consistency all the way through. So it's a bit like when we say 153, the and part we use when in our hundreds, but we don't use them in our yeah. tens. Yeah, that one's in there. Um, and so what if we wanted to do 143? Uh, you would say beige go ningo dwak, and then you would say the number. Nimantina um, ashiniwen. So what was it, 44 you were saying? 143. Oh, 43. So it would be uh, uh, ni wak um, ni matina a So it would be 150 and 3. Okay. Oh, so you don't say 150 no. and 3? No, it's already kind of assumed in that uh, the wak ending. Okay. Because the beige go wak 100 ni jo wak. So the wak is already in there. Okay. So it's already in the language where there's more coming. Okay. And then you just say it. Uh huh. Um, but if it's just that round number, 100, and me walk, you just walk. leave it at, leave it at 100. Okay. Yeah. And then 200. If I know 100 and I know two, I can do 200. Yeah, knee walk like niche, and it only starts out with the first syllable, like niche and beige. Uh, knee walk, miss walk, uh, knee walk, non walk. 
that walk pretty much gives it away right there. As soon as you hear that, you know, oh, that's a big number. Okay. You know? And uh, but what about a thousand? How do you? That one's, they're getting bigger. Uh, Tusswalk. <laughs> Tusswalk. Tusswalk, Miwok, yeah. Tusswalk. And then, uh, is I've there never... Is there 10,000? There probably is, um, but I don't know it. Okay. But what people will do is they'll start going back into the teens and saying, um, yes. like 10 hundred or yes. 10 thousand, you know, like that. Okay. Yeah, so that's how they get beyond that. But numbers that big, we don't really um, come by too often.